Good Monday morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time. If you will, like, share, comment on the post. And then we will dig into uh, the 11th chapter of Acts, beginning in the 4th verse. And we're going to go down through verse 16. And so I won't read that long passage or all our time will be gone today. But uh, one of the things we are learning or have learned and see further built on uh, here is, again, that uh, God has a design for the church uh, to have a broad impact, to reach across uh, geographic lines, to be truly a worldwide uh, endeavor. And so here we see Peter as um, he comes back uh, in uh, verse 4, and he's dealing with uh, those who were being critical to him for, uh, for uh, preaching and teaching and baptizing. Uh, they, um, he, he, just, uh, he just lays out uh, the truth to them uh, and explains it uh, very clearly to them what has happened and, and basically says, here's the facts, you tell me. Um, and so, uh, again, he uh, goes back and, and basically we just walk back through what has uh, already happened. Uh, he tells them in verse 5 that he had a, a vision from God and he saw this, uh, this sheet coming down with all these different uh, items on it and God speaking to him uh, three different times and telling him uh, that um, to eat and that it was okay. And shortly after that, then the visitors from Cornelius uh, came to visit him. And the, again, the Spirit led him and told him to go and to, uh, to meet uh, with, uh, with them, to go back and uh, go to uh, him, go to meet with the Gentiles. Uh, and all the uh, instructions and uh, the message that had been delivered. And because of that, then the Gentiles uh, were, uh, the Holy Spirit came on the Gentiles, and just like it had um, at Pentecost with them. And so um, he says, you know, what, what else could I do? He said, they've had the exact same experience uh, we have. And so he says, how can we argue that God is opening up the door of the gospel uh, to the Gentiles? That God uh, did all this. This wasn't something I planned. This was uh, a vision he sent. These were instructions he sent. Uh, this was not just me trying to uh, drum up an offering or uh, go get more people into church. Uh, it was what God's plan. He said, I never dreamed of it. Um, if you remember, he actually debated with God a little bit when the vision first took place. And so uh, he, he says, uh, then there are uh, there were witnesses. There were others who saw everything that happened, who can back up uh, what was uh, what happened. And he tells them down uh, in uh, verse 12, he says, Go to them, make no distinction. These six brothers accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. He said, there, there's no question as to uh to to what um has happened there's there's no doubt uh what has uh gone on god uh, god told him uh that uh, you go and you you preach the gospel uh to all these people and uh and so this this passage uh again is just a reminder to us uh i think uh, that we be very cautious uh the church even today uh, Christians still today, um, sometimes if we're not careful, uh, we can end up erecting some barriers that God never intended, uh, that we, um, we hesitate maybe to carry the gospel, uh, to reach certain people of certain cultures, certain races, certain nationalities. Um, and uh, th this whole story uh, of Peter going to the Gentiles is a reminder to us um, and then even a even uh, I think even a bigger reminder is not just specifically about the gospel, uh, 
Uh, but that when God speaks to our heart, when the Holy Spirit is leading us, it may not be culturally acceptable. It may not be what we've always done. It may not be what uh, is necessarily approved of. But when the Holy Spirit leads us and the Holy Spirit is guiding us, um, social tradition, social acceptability uh, is not the issue. Being obedient is the issue. And uh, so that's our challenge today. Uh, will we be obedient? Will we follow the Spirit? Or will we be more concerned uh, about culture, tradition, uh, and what uh, is acceptable uh, not only in society, but in the church. Think about it. Have a great day. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.